If you consider China's population of over 1.3 billion people, even a 1% rise in jobless rate means tens of millions of people may have to struggle to make ends meet. Figures show that the overall situation of China's job market in 2013 was stable, and that some noticeable achievements were made. In 2010, we created 11.7 million new jobs, with over a 10% GDP growth rate. In 2011, 12 million jobs were created, but GDP growth was reduced to 9.2%. In 2012, 12.7 million jobs were added, with an even slower GDP growth rate at 7.8%. This year, we created a record high of 13 million jobs, with GDP growth rate reduced to just 7.7%. This shows our economic growth is becoming more and more capable of creating jobs. Just to make no mistake, these numbers are not just dry figures. They're real stories of people struggling to find a job and make a living. Chinese government say that they're doing their utmost in the big picture of global economic recession. Earlier in 2013, we paid a visit to the homes of some new college graduates in Beijing. No longer eligible to live at the school dorms after graduation. They were making do in small apartments in the capital's suburbs. Eight young women had to share one bedroom. Getting a job, it seemed, didn't translate into decent income. Every night, 20 girls have to queue just to take a shower. It's terrible. Officials say they're actively working to raise people's incomes. The average growth rate of disposable incomes in 2013 was 8.1%. Faster than GDP growth, that growth, however, translates poorly when it comes to wages. The average annual salary for Chinese people is only 30,000 yuan, or 5,000 U.S. dollars per year. That's even lower than the wages of taxi drivers in South Africa. The world's most populous country is trying to develop the economy by boosting consumption, but many say that unless more Chinese people are working and earning, it'll be hard for them. To really start spending, Han Peng, CCTV, Beijing.